I was staying in my cottage down in Hampshire. I'd been up pretty late that night till about five in the morning or something like that. At about ten in the morning, I heard the car coming up my gravel drive and sort of go underneath my window. And it seemed to turn around the garage and then come back again. It was a really good friend of mine who lived in the village. So I sort of opened up the bedroom window and I said, What's happened? He said something about one of your mates is dead. I said, who? And he said, Hutch. And I went, what? He said, Hutch, he's dead. I said, oh, for fuck's sake. I said, what was it? Was it drugs or the motorbike? Because that's the only way I could think of anything happening, an accident. And he said, he killed himself. I said, fuck off. No way. Absolutely no way. And then we went to a pub over in the next village and sat there. And I was beyond poleaxed. And we were coming back, and the news came on. I remember it was at two o'clock in the afternoon. They played New Sensation or whatever. And you know, bloody tears just rolled, just poured down my face. I just couldn't get my head around it at all. Not at all. I can still summon him up in a moment in my mind. It's just as vivid as ever to me when I think about him. We just miss a really, really great guy, a great friend, and hope he's all right. till about five in the morning or something like that. At about 10 in the morning, I heard the car coming up my gravel drive and sort of go underneath my window. And it seemed to turn around the garage and then come back again. It was a really good friend of mine who lived in the village. So I sort of opened up the bedroom window and I said, what's happened? He said something about one of your mates is dead. I said, who? And he said, Hutch. And I went, what?